Welcome to JustMakeGames.com. In this tutorial, we're going to import a custom player model into CryEngine 3. And I know this is a tutorial a lot of people have been waiting a while for. So to celebrate, we're giving away a free copy of Packet Publishing's CryEngine 3 cookbook. And I'll explain how to win that at the end of this video so that we can get started right away. So to begin, let's navigate to freesdk.crydev.net and you can search the documentation for agent.rar and so basically CryEngine's provided us with a sample folder including all the necessary files for a animated player model and it includes the 3ds max file so here I've extracted my agent folder and you can see depending whether you use Maya or Max you have an SDK agent file and I'm gonna go ahead and open this in Max so once it's open go ahead and adopt the file settings and you're probably going to need to unhide everything unhide all and unfreeze all so that you can actually see everything that's in the scene and I'll go ahead and explain everything we have here if you don't see a layers panel go ahead and right click on your toolbar and enable the layers panel I find it's very useful you can click here to manage layers and see all the layers that Crytek created when making this scene here we have three LOD layers. LOD stands for level of distance, so depending on how far away from the player you are, you're going to see a different polygon mesh. Uh, zero default is the highest polygon mesh for the closest viewing, and we're only going to use one because our player model is so low poly, and he's the player. We're only going to, and it's a single player game. We're only going to see him from close up. So we'll go ahead and hide LOD one and two. Now very quickly, just in case you're wondering, this locomotion layer contains the locomotion locator, the arrow you see down here, and that's used in determining the direction of your player when you're setting up custom animations. We're not going to be using custom animations in this tutorial, we're simply skinning our mesh to CryEngine 3's biped so that we can use their animations, but let's say that you just can't get your mesh to fit according to this biped you're gonna to need to learn character rigging and skinning and animating and these are all very complex topics so take a look through the uh, CryEngine 3 documentation you can search locomotion locator as well as they have the entire process documented and as far as learning skinning and rigging go to justmakegames.com and check out the how to make games here learn how at design 3 and you'll see they have specific sections just for animating in 3ds max and if you navigate through their site you'll see they have a, an entire series dedicated to skinning and rigging and that information is very hard to come by for free on the internet as far as finding an entire guide so that's definitely the best way to go about learning that information so now another layer of interest is the BIP layer and that just contains the biped um, so you can see there's actually two bipeds here and I believe this one over here is just simply dealing with collision finally you can see all these triangles are just basically um, gun points so you could see he can hold a gun or a weapon in this hand uh, he can hold them on his back in these different positions but since we're just fitting our mesh to this player model we don't need to really worry about these things our meshes our hands are gonna fit in his hands etc so these gun points are gonna work fine for our mesh as well okay now I'm gonna hit F3 so I can be sure of what I'm selecting and you can see that our player is actually made up of five different meshes six including the hair and we have head uh, torso, hands, pants, or legs, and shoes. Each one of these meshes has had a CrySkin modifier attached to it, um, and the relating bones have been added to the skin. So, for example, the head mesh just has the neck and the head biped uh, bones attached, and the shoes might just have some of the uh, some of these ones you can see here. So what we're doing is we're actually making one mesh from head to toe and we're going to apply every single biped to it. And that's just the simplest way. Okay, now you should have a pretty good understanding of everything that's going on in the scene. So let's go ahead and import our custom player model. I've downloaded just a basic low polygon human from TurboSquid. It's a free model made by Grizzly3D and I'll provide a download link for you guys and once you extract the folder it just uh, has a single 3ds file and you can actually in the same agent scene we're working in go to import merge and navigate to that player folder human and select all files and select the human based 3ds and you want to merge completely and convert the units 
and say yes to changing animation like there you can see we have now the player model we're going to use alongside our uh, SDK agent and now I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to add the selected items to this layer and name it uh, custom I'll just name it custom zero uh, just to keep things organized even though it's a single mesh it's good practice and now I'm going to start editing this player uh, and basically just line him up as best I can uh, size him properly um, to fit the uh, agent mesh so, and you can deselect everything and hit alt w and I find it's really helpful to work in the other viewports and so what I'm gonna do is basically scale the player and get him as close as possible uh, to the agent and you can see that even still the problem is that our players hands and arms just don't line up properly with uh, the agent I'll move him into place so that you can see and so it's really not I didn't find that it worked well uh, when I moved the CryEngine 3 bones to fit my model and you can try but I just had all kinds of uh, vertex stretching issues and if you are skilled in skinning and rigging this is probably uh, the best thing for you to do if you can weigh your vertices properly is you can probably just modify the bones to fit your mesh but to try and keep this video under 10 minutes I'm gonna quickly just explain what I did and luckily for you we're including the 3ds max scene where I've already done all the things I'm about to do so you can just quickly export the player and bring him into the game okay so in the create tab under systems I create a biped and I scale him to fit our player perfectly and when you're creating the biped you can set the specifics as far as things like how many fingers he has I want five fingers on each hand and how many links in his fingers I want three links you can see that gives him the uh, joints or bones in his fingers and anytime you're gonna edit your biped you wanna go to the modify tab and make sure that you're in figure mode and now I can uh, move my biped out here rotate him and then I can move the different parts uh, selecting the hand and move it to fit our hand. If you ever want to move the entire biped hit F3 go into wireframe mode and make sure you select this tiny little um, pyramid item in the middle and that way you can move the entire biped and so let's say you have him lined up nice and let's say these this hand and the fingers were actually fit into the hand perfectly then I just took the time to select the entire fingers hand and arm and then you can go into the motion and make sure you're in figure mode still and in the copy post copy paste uh, area copy that posture it's gonna copy the entire um, posture of what you have selected and then go ahead and select the opposite and make sure you only have what selected what you want to paste to and then select paste opposite and that's going to so once you have these fingers perfect and this leg perfect you can just copy paste over okay now let's say that we had this biped fit perfectly into our player mesh now I'd, I would select the player and I would go into modify and I'd add a modifier and I'm going to use physique which isn't what CryEngine uses they use skins but I'm just going to apply physique and I'm going to click physique go to attach to node I'm gonna hit H on my keyboard to get to the um, scene selector and I'm going to navigate to BIP002 which is what it automatically named it for me it might be different for you um, select the entire BIP002 and hit initialize and that f um, applies a physique of this biped to our player so let's say you move the hand now it's actually physically moving the mesh along with that um, I'll make a small move here so you can see and since our hand is not lined up at all you can see it's moving the wrong part but in the uh, model that I'm uh, uh, giving to you guys it was all aligned properly and then what you would do is once you have this all uh, fitted perfectly and the physique applied you'd move it here into place and then you'd start moving these bones and everything to make this mesh fit perfectly in the player and I'm gonna go ahead and open now our scene where we've done this but you should have the concept now to where you can do it yourself